Doja Cat is on another Twitter rant once again, are we surprised? And this time, she is riled up about seeing children in her shows. Now, we all know how explicit some of Doja's lyrics can go, and she has stated her songs weren't made for their innocent ears, but things took a turn for Doja, as they do when she spirals on these little Twitter rants, because people absolutely lost it when she referred to children as mistakes. Yep, you heard that right, and even laughed about it. Doja Cat is beefing with her fans once again, this time over her assertion that she doesn't make music for children and calling those children a mistake. Yup, you heard that right. So I guess she was receiving some complaints from parents on Twitter or who knows, but she went on to tweet, I don't know what the F you think this is, but I don't make music for children. So leave your kids at home, mother effer. Now a lot of people thought her take was valid until she made this next tweet, where she kind of spiraled and really exposed her true colors. She goes on to say about the stuff that she raps about, rapping about eating and pissing on his V-cut, leave your mistake at home. And oh my god, you guys, boy did people's jaw drop. Now I'm pretty sure by now we all know that Doja has gotten into it with her fans several times over the last few years. They like your music, but you treat your fans like eh. Dude, literally stop. You act like I have some responsibility to be like babying people and treating people like stupid but they're not stupid that's why i yell at them she has been going through this sort of shift recently where she went from this to this somehow and a lot of people have just been confused about her overall transformation and what she stands for as of recently <laughs> i feel like i'm in elementary school when people are like oh did you sell your soul yet <laughs> and then they run away it feels like it's a bunch of like seven-year-olds being like, Hey Doja, did you sell your soul? And then they run as fast as they can away from me. And they start snickering in the corner. It's the same energy. You'll get exposed. What do you mean, why are you different now? Shut the f up. Someone goes, oh my god, this isn't Doja no more. Or some what the f Bro, this isn't Doja no more. No, it's not. Her own fan base has had a complicated relationship with her over the last year, and now she's making things even more tumultuous, you guys. Doja turned to Twitter to advise her fans against bringing children to her concerts. However, staying true to her distinctive little style that she's been going through over the last couple of months, she conveyed this message in her own unconventional manner. She further elaborated on the same sentiment in an even more unconventional manner, stating, I'm rapping about c so why are you bringing your offspring to my show? Yeah, I don't know what to say to that, but some people had to agree with Doja's take regarding kids, even though she decided to relay that message in a very strange way. However, a lot of people felt as though her referring to children being a mistake and then going as far as to laughing about it was the straw that broke the camel's back. And I agree. Someone said, agree, bringing kids to your show is not a good choice, but calling your fans children a mistake is so rude. Doja responded, it's effing hilarious. What? What the fuck? Leave your mistake at home is wild. Someone else said, who pissed you off tonight? This person responded to this girl's TikTok saying, I agree, but the mistake part was a bit much. Did y'all see um, Doja Cat's um, tweet? She's 100% right. Why are y'all... Um, why are y'all having your children at a concert where you know this woman raps explicitly? Any rapper that raps explicitly, why would you have your children there? And then go home and complain about how explicit she or he was. You knew that at the house. You've known that for months before they even went on concert while you singing and cussing it. Now, although Doja decided to use explicit eye-catching terms in her explanation, I do think there's validity to her argument, but she just didn't deliver it in the best way. I don't know if she thinks she's in her Jojo Siwa era or if she thinks that this new edgelord little aesthetic that she's had going on over the last couple of months is what is appeasing to her audience because it was reported 
reported that she lost a ton of followers with the way she was talking to her audience and just speaking about them as a whole not too long ago. And while now over on Reddit, tons of people are talking about this situation where she's referring to children as mistakes now and just taking things way too far as the months go by. Making outlandish statements and people are just over it, you guys. The conversation on the whole idea of parents refraining from bringing kids to her shows persisted over on Reddit. I mean, over 500 comments on this were made, a lot of people judging her tone, her delivery, and just her overall character as of recently. 100% no kids at gigs, but calling them mistakes is that kind of misanthropic, edgy humor that, in her character for her, is just so deeply hateful and lame. I just find it so embarrassing how she's a famous celebrity but cannot get out of this passe, edgy internet mindset. She's so quirky and edgy, oh my god, dark jokes princess. Other people making fun of her for what seems to be her thinking that this new little dark edgy humor aesthetic that she has going on is what people really want. I mean, she's not wrong, but the delivery was harsh. She's right that you shouldn't bring kids to her show and then complain about it, but man is she unlikable, just deep in internet BS. I hate the term go touch grass, but Doja needs to go outside, log off, and live her life. This person responded and said, never thought I'd see a pop star in my life who's the definition of of chronically online. It's like one of the worst combination of two worlds, LMAO. This person summed this perfectly and said she could have left it at the first tweet and logged off. Her trademark seems to be making herself look like an by never shutting up, honestly. She's often totally right, just expresses herself in a really raised by the internet kind of way that I find irritating. And a lot of people agree, you guys. She was right up until she got disrespectful, but expect nothing less from her, SMH. And I mean, you guys, so many more people just chiming in and talking about how appalled they are by this new doja. This person said, I agree with what she's saying, but I hate how she's saying it. I don't even disagree with her, but she really doesn't have a way with words. She's not wrong, but that last slide, I roll. The last person that needs to be calling anyone's offspring a mistake. This person said, this is what Jojo Siwa thinks she's saying with her rebrand. She had me right up until she referred to other people's children as mistakes. Her edgy BS is so exhausting. However, hard agree on not taking your children to an obviously adult event. There isn't a single Doja Cat song that is made for children. When my then six-year-old tried to tell me she liked Doja, I said, no, you don't, and made sure it's not something she listens to and it was a reminder for me as her mom to be more mindful of what I played around her as well. There's also this whole notion where some parents genuinely think that celebrities should be a role model to their children, and it's just like, where did that come from? On Scarlett's F the Girls, Doja Cat addressed how she shouldn't be looked at as a role model for kids. Since when was y'all my bastard children? Go ahead and raise y'all self. Come get your badass kids. No need to mention. She raps. Now, it's no surprise that this past Coachella, Doja Cat's outfits were definitely one that was highly talked about. She was wearing lingerie, a lot of skimpy outfits, and I guess the topic of conversation was brought to light about how some parents are not fond of children appearing at Doja Cat's shows. It could be an amalgamation of the type of clothing she wears, but also a huge part of the problem to these parents could be her raunchy lyrics. And a lot of people agree with Doja on her take, but she took things a little too far after she said that children were mistakes. The way I'd unfollow and never support again. Y'all are crazy supporting these people who don't even like y'all. Her Glasgow concert allows attendees as young as age 14 in the standing section and even eight-year-olds may be admitted in the seated section as long as they are accompanied by a parent. And I actually confirmed this over on Ticketmaster and it does say that 14-year-olds can be allowed to see her shows as long as they're in the standing section and I guess some parents had problems with that, but the way Doja went about this approach was just not it. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation in the comments down below though. I love you guys so much and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.